Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting and extensions quick tip video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to launch scripts and extensions with keyboard shortcuts. This can both improve your workflow of just using them with your general work or for development can make things a lot faster for testing. This will require you, I believe, to have above versions CC 2017 or CC 2018, but this will be something you can do in both After Effects and Premiere. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub as well as Instagram for updates on code and other cool things. If you're not a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can join the YouTube channel as a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks as well as help us out. So first up, let's take a look at how we can set up any of our keyboard shortcuts in general. To do this, you want to go to Edit and Keyboard Shortcuts. Pretty simple to access. And now we have the option to launch scripts and or extensions from any keyboard shortcut we give it. We can even override the default ones inside of our program as well. So let's go ahead in the search bar here, type in scripts. And you can see we have the option to actually link a keyboard shortcut to run script file. And we also have our recent script files and all of our script files located in our version of After Effects uh, scripting folder. These are going to actually appear in the UI here as we go down to scripts. And these are the, all the ones I have in my physical scripts folder. I can launch scripts from elsewhere, but these are the ones that I have in my folder, which we can actually link shortcuts to. So let's say I wanted to do the render an email as a keyboard shortcut. I can go into keyboard shortcuts, go to my scripts, and I'll find render an email. And now I just need to decide what my shortcut will be. Lately, I've been using control shift plus a consonant or a vowel to do all my shortcuts. So let's take a look at control shift R, which the shortcut for this is rotation in the dialog box or align selected text right. I'm okay removing that and I'm going to now replace it. Make sure I'm holding it down. Control Shift R. I'm just going to drag render an email over to this section here. And now if I hit Control Shift R, I need to have an item set to render. So let's do that really quick. If I hit Control Shift R now, which is my shortcut, it's now going to run the script with the shortcut. And you'll also remark if you look inside of your scripts now, the shortcut is plastered right next to the script itself. So you can also go back and look easily at what your shortcuts for everything is. Now, of course, we're not just here for scripts. We're also going to set the keyboard shortcut for an extension. Now, extensions are probably the best use case for this because you're constantly having to save some files, relaunch the extension for testing purposes. And for usage, uh, it doesn't really apply as much, but for development, it's probably best for extensions. Uh, for let's say the extension testing that we use quite a bit, we most recently used as a watch folder. What we can do now is uh, apply a shortcut for this and easily uh, basically update code and then rerun this extension. So inside of my keyboard shortcuts, I can now search for extensions and I can go to my extension testing one here and pick a shortcut. I'm gonna try control shift T which shows or hides the effects control panel for selected layers. I don't think that should be a huge issue and we'll go ahead and drag our extension testing to control shift T, hit okay. And now when we press control shift T, our extension will launch and we can immediately see the results of uh, whatever we need for our workflow or for development. And similarly to the scripts, your shortcut will now be pasted next to the name of your actual extension. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. Down in the description, you can check out our GitHub. Follow us there for coding updates. And in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other cool things. Make sure you join the Discord server where you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on our YouTube channel to help us out and get cool perks at the same time. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.